A blocked drain is not a pretty sight or smell and it can also be potentially very expensive. Now I can't do much about the smell but I can help you save some money by showing you how to use your pressure washer to unblock a blocked sewage drain. Welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video I'm going to be giving you some tips showing you how you can unblock your drains if you open up the inspection chamber and find it's full of backed up raw sewage. This was the situation I was faced with a few months ago when I opened up this inspection chamber on a cold wet morning and found it almost full to the top with sewage. I'm sure you can imagine some of the language I used at the time. Now unless you've got a weird fascination with sewage you'll be pleased to know that filming was the last thing on my mind at the time. But I'm sure you can imagine what this two foot deep chamber looked like. So out came the pressure washer. This is a Karcher K4. It's a 130 bar electric pressure washer. If you want to know more about this machine, there's a six month user review on my channel which you might find interesting. To clear the blockage in the pipe, I use the Karcher PC20 Gutter and Pipe Cleaning Kit. This kit contains a gutter cleaning attachment, which to be honest with you, I've never used. And more importantly for us, a 20 metre hose. This hose has a brass bayonet fitting at one end for attaching to any of the Karcher K-series pressure washers. And at the other end, there's a rounded brass tip which is designed to break through blockages. The hose is rated to 180 bar and it connects to the VarioJet lance with the usual Karcher push and twist mechanism. I'll put an Amazon link for the PC20 kit into the description below. Now obviously sewage is a health hazard so get yourself some decent PPE. I use these thick rubber gauntlets, a face shield and some overalls. The tip of the hose has three holes drilled just behind the head. These force water out backwards and so push the hose forwards. I've adapted mine by drilling an extra one and a half millimetre hole in the tip of the head and I've found this works much better. So this hose it's great for breaking through blockages in drains but there is a problem. As you can see here it tends to coil up. Now this is obviously because of the way it's stored but it does make it difficult to get the hose into a drain especially if it's located underneath two feet of raw sewage. I've highlighted here where the drain outlet is, there was no way I was sticking my arm down there to push the hose into the drain. So I had to think of an alternative and I came up with this using a piece of 40mm drainage pipe. I knew roughly where the outlet was so I pushed around with the pipe until I located it. It's then really easy to push the hose down through the pipe and into the drain and there's absolutely no way it can then coil up inside the chamber. Once you're happy that the hose is down into the drain itself, you can then take your pressure washer, turn it on and use the rear facing jets to propel the hose forwards. All you have to do is keep feeding the hose in through the plastic drainage pipe. Eventually you'll feel resistance as you come up against the blockage. Depending on the size of the blockage, you might find that you have to move the hose backwards and forwards until it eventually breaks through. Once you have broken through, the pressure from the backed up fluid should push the rest of the blockage aside and the whole chamber emptied in seconds. It was fantastic. Once you stop grinning and punching the air like an idiot, you can then get a low pressure hose and wash away any debris that's still inside the chamber and just check that the drain's running freely. I think it's probably better to use a hose for this rather than a pressure washer unless you really want little bits of sewage spraying all over your garden and your back door. You can see here that the drain's running freely and if I take the hose away the water in the channel drains away. So I do hope you found this video useful. If you have please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.